Hello and welcome everyone, thank you very much for tuning in to my latest video. If you want to keep up to date with everything that comes on to this channel, then please hit that subscribe button and turn bell notifications on as well. And I hope everyone is doing well on this Monday afternoon. There has been a bit of news concerning Liverpool right-back Neko Williams. Now, Neko Williams has made 25 appearances and only made six Premier League starts uh, for Liverpool uh, in his career. Uh, some news has just came in that he wants to leave this summer. Uh, there have been a lot of Premier League clubs actually having a bit of an interest in Neko Williams. Um, and it does look like he does. He is going to be on the move uh, this summer. Now, the, it came from David Lynch, uh, a, a respected Liverpool journalist, and he has said, Neko Williams attracting interest from Premier League clubs this summer and is keen on the idea of leaving for regular first-team football. LFC would be willing to do business if they receive an offer worth around £10 million. Pounds. So that is the latest as well. Also, the Athletic was another one that came on. Uh, Liverpool expect Neko Williams to push for a move after Euro 2020, with the club set to demand at least £10 million for the Wales right fullback. Anfield officials understand the 20-year-old's 20 20 desire to play first, regular first team football and will reluctantly sell the academy graduate if the right offer is tabled. Uh, Williams, who has been with the club since the under nines, has developed considerably under the guidance of Jurgen Klopp, but found his game time limited in his role as Trent Alexander-Arnold's deputy. He has made 25 senior appearances for Liverpool in all competitions over the two of the past two seasons, but he has started just six Premier League matches. Um, and then it goes on to say, Williams has been involved in all, tw in all three group stage games for Wales at Euro 2020 and knows his future international prospects would be enhanced by featuring more regularly at club level. He accepts there's little prospect of him leapfrogging Alexander Arnold in the picking order at Anfield. It then goes on to say that the following clubs seem to be interested. Leeds United, Southampton, Burnley and Aston Villa have all expressed genuine interest in Neko Williams over the past 12 months. It remains to be seen whether any of those clubs table a suitable offer now that they know Liverpool are willing to sell. So that's the Athletics uh, bit on Neko Williams. My reaction to this news, I'm I'm sad. Um, I I thought I thought Neko Williams was a very very up and coming uh, prospect for sure. I think he's been a very very good servant uh, for Liverpool. But as you see, he hasn't really had the opportunity to show what he can do because he is Trent Alexander Arnold's deputy as uh, right back um, as well. Um, I remember him coming on to Prov Providence when he played against Arsenal in that famous 5-5 draw. Uh, he, he, was, he was fantastic that night. Made a couple of assists as well, if I, if I do remember, um, as well, um, to Divo Corrigi, uh, of course, as well. So he came into Providence then, and, you know, I, th I thought his, um, his chances of maybe getting to the first team were maybe possible. Um, look, I think he's a very, very good player, and I think... You look at him playing for Wales. He does play regularly for Wales. I think it's a very, very good move. I think it'd be a very good move for him to look for first-team regular football. It does kind of come with a uh, an added thing, though, is that Liverpool might need to sign a replacement right back. That might be possible if, obviously, Neko Williams does uh, does go on to leave uh, the club. But you, you you can't really you can't really say that it hasn't been coming at all. Um, I, I do think that Neko Williams is a very, very good player and he does deserve first-team football. Uh, that is for sure. Um, you look, I, I think, uh, as, as I said, I do think he is a very, very good player. Uh, but... Am I surprised he's going to leave? Well, to be fair, he has had a bit of uh, up and down time of it recently. Uh, remember the 7-2 game against Lincoln City? Uh, he got r heavily criticised by a, lot, a number of Liverpool fans on social media and it actually got him to blacken out his uh, Twitter profile picture uh, and his Twitter as well. So, 
that was one thing that really, really annoyed me, is that we won 7-2, but he was actually given a lot, a barrel load of abuse after that game. Um, and ever, and ever since then, he just he hasn't really had the chance to, you know, play uh, play very well. I think one of his starts was against Brighton um, in the Premier League last season. And again, he got heavily criticised. He got heavily criticised for the way he uh, he played. And I think he was substituted at half-time as well, if I remember that. Um, if I remember that as well. So disappointing to see but what I will say is I think Nico Williams has a bright future ahead of him and I think he is going to be a very very good player for another team um, as well but I'll be sad to see him go I'll be very very sad to see him go um, as well so that is in terms of obviously Nico Williams um, so do we expect to sign a replacement right back well this is what the Athletic has to say. Uh, would a replacement need to be signed? No. Joe Gomez, who's on the comeback show after injury, can provide cover for Alexander Arnold at right back. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. I do not want Gomez right back. I'm sorry. The one thing I, I read about him uh, playing right back, he got hit. He got a bad injury at Burnley when he played at right back. So, no. Joel Gomez for me is a is a centre back. He is not a right back. He's not a left back either. So no, I'm not happy about that. Um not at all happy. Klopp and the staff have also been impressed by the development of Academy teenager Connor Bradley, then Northern Ireland international right back joined Liverpool from Dungannon United in twenty nineteen. So and then it also goes on to say what about the speculation around Costa Simicas um, as well and uh, saying that uh, Liverpool have no intention of selling the Greece international injured a difficult first season at Anfield following an eleven point seven five million move from Olympiacos. Klopp is planning next, for next season with Simicas on board and believes he can ease the burden on Andy Robertson. So there, there's, there's a wee, there's a wee transfer update video for you guys. Uh, so just to clarify, Neko Williams wants to leave Liverpool Football Club. Uh, in the summer with Leeds United, Burnley, Southampton, Aston Villa and potentially Norwich City. I've seen Norwich City's name being mentioned around. Obviously, Max Adams does leave uh, the club um, as well. Uh, so, and also no news on uh, Shimak. Uh, there is news on Shimakas that he will not be sold by uh, Liverpool with Klopp planning to have him in time for pre-season so yeah that that's just a just a little bit of a, a transfer update video for you for you guys today i thought i would sort of do a wee transfer update uh, for you and uh yeah let me know your thoughts on neko williams in the comment section uh down below also let me know what you think about costa shimakas as well uh, but yes, big, big news today is that Neko Williams wants to leave Liverpool Football Club this summer. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens as well. But uh, until then, it is goodbye for me. If you do like the content, please hit that subscribe button. Drop a like on the video as well. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye for now. You'll never walk alone. Cheers, Reds. Bye.